to your mom. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'll fix that. Yeah, so first first of all, thank you so much for sticking around till now. Uh, we all had coffee, so try to stay awake while I talk about security. <coughs> uh, before starting, I'd like to ask all your fear question. So for the answer, just try to be loud. Just yes or no question. How many of you love Google? Yes? yes. OK, so we see there are more lovers than haters. <coughs> so I'll start with another question. Uh, how many of you know who is Sundar Pichai? Yes. Do you know? Yes. Well, I know. OK, I know this was a sp stupid question. But uh, when I was in my middle school a few years back, this guy, Sundar Pichai, one of, in one of his talks, he said that everything we do in our lives is being controlled by data. And you know, at that time, I was very confused when I heard that. Because till then, all that my parents told me was that there is some God who does this. So all my life till now had been a lie. But now we all know that he was right. Data is everywhere. You all came here because you had the data about DevFest. You all are wearing your badges with your name because we had the data about you. OK, let's try it with a question. How many of you can count the number of times you come across the word data in your day? Can you? We cannot, right? Data is everywhere. Data is one of the most important and repetitive words we all hear daily. Today, we are generating more than 2.5 quintillion bytes of data daily. And I was told that 90% of this data was generated in the last few years, which is really massive. We are generating data more than ever. And obviously, this massive data contains a lot of uh, sensitive information, like passwords, usernames, credentials. And those and folks are, trying, are either trying to protect this data or to gain access to this data. Not everyone who loves data uses it for good. And we don't want the data to get into wrong hands. So this is the time, the need of the R is to protect the data. And this is exactly what Data Loss Prevention API is designed for. DLP API can automatically detect, classify, and secure sensitive information and personally identifiable uh, information like names, credit card numbers, passwords. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, like names, credit card numbers, and passwords. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I screwed up. <laughs> mm, yeah. Yeah. It's data. So uh, what DLP API can do, it can uh, automatically detect, uh, classify, and protect sensitive data and personally identifiable information like names, credit card numbers, and phone numbers using various techniques. Let's look at it with an example. Suppose you have a file with uh, all uh, information like phone numbers, email address, uh, credit card numbers, and you want to share that data with your analytics team. Obviously, you cannot share the whole file as it is. Half of your company will be playing around with this data. So this is where DLP API comes into the game. DLP API <coughs> uh, will automatically detect uh, and classify the sensitive information and secure it. Uh, so this is what happens at the front end of the API. Now let's see what happens at the back end. Uh, DLP API can classify data based uh, on over 100 uh, predefined detectors and can protect data using techniques like masking, secure hashing, tokenization, and format preserving encryption in real time. And that too, before writing it on the disk. Uh, after which the data can be safely used for sharing purposes uh, in app development or uh, analytics or machine learning. The API comes built in with many uh, Google products like Google Drive, uh, Google Cloud, uh, Gmail. And after all this processing, DLP API then provides a report of the quantity and the type of data it classified right into your cloud command center. And that's how it works. OK. so. Uh, that's how it works. Now let's see a quick demo on DLP API. So this is a demo uh, provided by Google itself. 
as you can see it provides a good uh, help text uh, which can which you can see it automatically detects credit card numbers email addresses urls driver license numbers <coughs> so dlp api uh, recognizes precisely 107 uh, info types which include general info types like age uh, email addresses credit card numbers and some country specific uh, uh, info types for some countries like uh, nric number in singapore or uh, permanent account number in india so uh, yeah so another advantage of uh, dlp api is that it protects the data even at rest so your data is safe even if it's not getting transited anywhere. So uh, I will con uh, in conclusion, DLP API is a great tool to reduce human effort in detecting <coughs> and uh, securing uh, data, uh, providing another layer of security to the data. And to use this next level security, all we have to do is either to submit the data to cloud DLP or to specify where the data is stored on Google Cloud, BigQuery, or Cloud Data Base Instances. It's that simple. Uh, thank you.